I started a secret YouTube channel on the side six months ago, and I'll show you exactly what happened in just a few seconds. But first, initially, I started this challenge because I want to see if YouTube is all luck. And two, I want to see what if I pursue YouTube seriously on the side and see what will lead me. Like many of us, I watched a lot of YouTube growing up and follow a lot of YouTubers and had a dream of being a big YouTuber one day. So why not try it now? And the results might shock you. Wait. Okay, this is my secret documentary channel. So this, I started it six months ago. And this was the first YouTube video I made, right? I wanted to focus on YouTube, Twitch, like celebrity niche. But I didn't know that until like I'm further down. But the first video I made was Jason Derulo stealing money from smaller creators. And I see a lot of uh, people talking about it, but not a lot of creators, like big creators like Ludwig or Most Critical talk about it. So then I decided to make a YouTube video on it. And uh, I'll show you the stats. So this video total got 231 views. It got 3.8 hour watch time. I got plus one subscriber. And here, uh, this is probably atrocious because it's for a three minute video and halfway through is already 20% retention. And reach, I reached 2000 impressions with 8% click through rate. So for those of you who think that click through rate is everything, it's not because I think 8% is pretty decent. I think average uh, is five to eight. And then if you go above 10%, I think it's pretty good. A lot of it is you do YouTube search, which is kind of what I aimed for. Cause this video, not a lot of people, like Jason Derulo stealing. I think he's still stealing from creators. I think if you search up his YouTube channel, I think he's still reposting other people's content. And my second video was about Ludwig's hair, how it made him a million dollars. So this edit, uh, I'll show you a little bit right now. Talent and hard work. When it comes to success on the internet, we often talk about charisma, talent, and hard work. But what if I told you there's another secret ingredient to achieving online stardom? Yes, that's Ludwig's hair. Which ironically was really cool and that he got reacted to this video. So if I, I think I have a save somewhere. If I can find it, I'll put it here. Just the success on the internet, we often talk about charisma, talent, and hard work. But what if I told you there's another secret ingredient to achieving online stardom? Yes. That's Ludwig's hair. Ludwig Ogren, the Twitch superstar turned YouTube sensation, has not only made a name for himself, but also a fortune. All thanks to his ever-changing, gravity-defying hairstyle. This is, this is true. Do people think this? Ludwig's hair isn't just hair. It's a brand, a meme, and a revenue stream. Let's explore how his locks of glory transformed him into a millionaire. To understand the power of Ludwig's hair, we have to go back in time and witness its evolution. Can you write a script about how the streamer Ludwig made one million dollars based off his hair cut? <laughs> um... <laughs> hey chat yeah i know i know the hair has become a jungle hasn't it look i i don't think this is true from a young streamer with a simple haircut to the internet sensation he is today ludwig's hairstyle has always been at the forefront of his content whether it's buzz cuts slick back hair is it or true the iconic swoop each change in ludwig's hairstyle marked a new chapter in his streaming career I do think that people have marked chapters based off when I uh, dye my hair. And I guess when I shave my hair. Ludwig, I don't understand why I have 5% female viewership. Also, Ludwig. But Ludwig didn't stop at just having a fabulous hairstyle. He <laughs> leveraged his hair to engage with his audience. His hair became a meme within his community, and fans embraced it. This meme-worthy mane generated buzz, engagement, and most importantly, sales. 
fans embrace Ludwig's hair as a symbol of their connection to What are we zooming in on? Content. But Ludwig took it a step further. His hair became a powerful tool to achieve his goals, whether it's setting ambitious donation goals. I don't understand the relationship. He's like, his hair made him successful. And then it's like the subathon. And it's like, what part of that was the hair? Look, I get the idea behind the channel. It's a very similar thing like I did to Mizkif with the door. But I think I had a connection between the door behind Mizkif and then people coming in and his, and his ability to, to collab and bounce off them. But I feel like my hair, outside of being a good branding factor, did not do everything but all right so these are the stats of the video right i didn't get a lot of traction after ludwig reacted to it it was pretty cool like i think i got some uh comments here that it came from ludwig uh let's see literally best video ever well because bro cop okay it's interesting that they said that because this is what i aimed for i wanted to copy something similar i'm here for ludwig ludwig watched good, a good idea dude blah 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 it, it was it was great to feel love right and ludwig gave me some constructive criticism and i think it it really inspired me so but it didn't go far it reached 400 v you got 400 views 3.6k impressions uh i think i kind of blew the ball on it maybe because i got a lot of impressions and the click through rate was 4.8 percent which is kind of in the average and these are the stats if for those of you interested and oh this graph is not good 30 seconds and i already have 32 percent retention and 43 second average that's i think that's kind of bad actually and i don't know why i've seen a lot of people youtubers do this but they don't show entirely right they don't show the title how they do description uh, uh how they do tags for some of you that uh might be interested in tags so this is what i did i wrote this i put the tags um i also did some tag research like what's uh i did uh i think there will i had a one dollar a month vidIQ coupon thing so i did pay for it and i found some tags that might be useful and then i put it here and yeah so let's look at other videos other videos that i did uh they got 400 views i did asmin goal one this one did not did too well i think uh maybe because of the thumbnail but anyways my next video popped off hard it was like a different but it was like a different niche and genre where i just post how uh, people make money on TikTok with movie clips, and I think this edit is my favorite still right now. I'll t I'll, I'll show you a little bit. Is this shutting down any of these content? TikTokers have discovered a gold mine in the form of sharing movie clips, but here is why it's become such a lucrative way to make money. Eisenberg, you're goddamn right. <laughs> I am the one who knocks bullet. encourages short one minute videos which have a higher retention rate which means that viewers get hooked quickly all right so anyway so this video got 30 35 000 views as of right now and i think uh it was doing pretty well for a three minute video and i'll show you the stats for it uh it got 35 000 views which is crazy this is still my highest view video in my entire channel I got almost 900 uh, watch hour, 200 subscribers, and right now I, for this channel I have like 700. So this this is a lot. And this graph is is such a it's, it is beauty right here. So in 30 second in I got 70% retention, and I think I kept 60% major uh, up until half of the video, and then it started to go dip dip go dip lower and lower. So I think it was pretty good. I think I had good editing. The thumbnail was great. Um, the impression was a lot, three hundred thousand and ten percent. I think it was pretty good, and a lot of it from YouTube search. And the reasoning why I did this video is because I know a lot of people at this time, a lot of people wanted to do um, put movie clips and post on TikTok to make some extra money because at that time there was a TikTok uh, video where people were telling other viewers that you can make a lot of money off of TikTok. So I wrote the trend and yeah, and I got 35 and the average view, uh, view duration is half, half the video, which I think is pretty good, but I think it could be better. 
and oh by the way this entire channel is still not monetized because i'm not i didn't reach a thousand subscribers yet and i didn't reach i think four thousand watch hours so i think uh i did xqc one out when i first made this video this uh tiktok video it didn't pop off yet it was like at 300 views and then but this xqc one popped off real quick i'll show you the analytic for this one uh this xqc one was the first video that popped off for me and but then and then led to the next few other of my videos that you can see that also popped off next to it but this xqc one was the first one that popped off for me and i think uh okay so this is the stats it was 8,000 views 335 watch hour which is crazy 35 subscribers and it has like almost 300,000 impressions but the i think the thumbnail was bad and the title was kind of bad too uh, i think but it was majority because i think i had a typo in the beginning but i later on corrected it but as 2.3 percent ctr it's i think it's pretty bad and yeah let's see what else what else would you guys want to see okay two and a half minute so standard probably half the video and at 30 seconds i had like 58 59 retention which is pretty good because that i think that's what you're supposed to strive for but okay and then this inquisitor video I, i'm surprised no one a lot of people covered it this was pretty big basically this tiktoker on a live himself on tiktok live after a series of bullying which is kind of crazy but no one covered it so i think i would have covered it at when i remember i remember when i first thought of this idea and started doing it and i was like ah I don't know it, it might I, ha, I had a strong feeling that will flop but it didn't actually it went quite well it had 12,000 views and after that my other videos like how a hesit helped uh, tell one earn a million dollar I thought it was a great idea at first I thought it was a great idea the thumbnail was kind of appealing but it, it underwhelming the mr. beast one was underwhelming as well and then the other ones like a Keith Lee and Jada Smith because they Jada was uh, popular at that time for not the slap it was like on her book tour i think that she was promoting her book and will smith was in it and that's and keith lee i did one i did a video on him but then i think it was the editing was pretty bad and i think patrick cc did another one right after like a month or so a few weeks after mine and it popped off so and for those of you curious i'll show you the stats for these like bad ones too like if, if you have any questions Go in the comment below like, i'm i'm willing to do like a part two if you guys like and i'll show you more so like these are the stats Thirty thousand impressions is not that is pretty good i didn't know it would have thirty thousand impressions 4.1 i think is below average browse features whatsapp that's crazy warcraft because sorry I, i'm seeing a lot of this for the first time after a while and then this is pretty average for my channel now i think and i my the reasoning i did the videos like pretty short because in my head i don't know why i thought that because in my head i thought like a lot of people are like brain rotted from tiktok so a lot of people don't want to watch videos like very long so that's why i made a, like shorter videos so people will like it more but i think um it could be a bad thing it could be a good thing and then i think this like between th these three videos this is when i started losing motivation right i was like damn i'm spending so much time on these videos and getting like freaking no, no views like i don't know what to do i'm spending so much time on these videos and so much effort and then i started i do this uh did this mariah video what happened to mariah mills i got this inspiration from tiktok uh twitter because someone was like oh what happened to mariah mills because she was famous for like harassing zion for on twitter for quite some time threatening him telling the nba to you know release him and stuff so i was curious too so then i did some research and then i did this video and then this video i forgot what led me to this video but whatever this next video bruce um i also got this video inspiration from twitter because uh I think some from some, some you know those pop off hall of fame twitter accounts that got like a lot of impressions out of no reason after elon bought it like like one of them was like what happened to bruce drop him off he has like the biggest fall off ever 
so uh i did one on him i did some research uh this is i think was this the longest video i've made no xqc was the longest but this was pop off i got a lot of hate from this i think from a lot of bruce fans maybe because i have bruce dropping them off in the, in the title and i'll show you the analytic when this popped off too i mean i'm a, i'm down to show anything so let's see I, i'm just rambling here i just want to show you guys my progress this one was a lot 560 watch hours i think it was very impressive um when i first got it and then this graph was crazy i think i remember yeah 70 percent retention at 30 second so i think it was really good i think you all i think mr beast in the interview said you should always aim for 30 70 percent retention and not 50 not 60 and all of my videos are averages around 50 to 60 mostly 50 in the first 30 seconds which this video was going crazy it never dipped below 40 the entire duration until the end and it reached 95,000. That's crazy. And it has 10% click through rate, 11,000 views. A lot of my, I would say two thirds of my videos, of all my videos across my channel, are from um, YouTube search, actually. And I'd say the, the, the rest is from either YouTube recommendations or the browsing page. But majority of it is YouTube search. Let's see. And then, oh, this is my second highest viewed video. What happened to Corpse Husband? um he did uh because i was curious where did he go i forgot where i got this inspiration again maybe from twitter maybe but i did this video i was this i was very i half-assed it not gonna lie i half-assed it um but then look at this graph it's like 30 percent. it's pretty bad if you just look at it based off the graph Twenty-six thousand views um 784 watch hours Cause look at this this was pretty average and then it just blew up out of nowhere and look at this 190,000 impressions 12 percent click-through rate i think it's pretty good see another see the majority of it is youtube search and i think uh internet anarchist recently made a video um corpse husband also blew up so maybe corpse is your answer if you want some views who knows and i think this is just and then after this i think it's downhill I'm an XUC update video because this one was successful, but it didn't get. I got 196 views, and then this is probably my, one of my favorite thumbnail. This this Disney one. I like how I like how Mickey looked. I like how just everything looked, you know. But this video was pretty mediocre in, in terms of stats and stuff and how it did. Look, see, pretty mediocre. The stats was typical for me. Um. Yeah, watch hours 60. Oh, click the rate was terrible on this one. 3.5. See in the Google search, huh? And then this. Oh, uh, Amaranth. I this one I got inspired from this thumbnail. I got inspired from Ryan Pictures, where he he does a lot of documentaries. But I think this did pretty bad. And then this power one, yo. I was obsessed with Power World. Like when it first came out, I played it for three days straight. From the moment it came out, I the, uh, I started playing it. And then every day I wake up, I've been playing the crap out of this thing. The love I have for this uh, game is crazy. So then I rushed, uh, um, so I rushed a lot of uh, scripting and stuff for this video because that's why. Because if you compare this to the others, like all of them are like uh, celebrities. And this is the only one about a game. Cause that's how passionate I was for freaking Power World. But it and this is the longest video I've done up to this point, 10 minute. Um, I'll show you the stats for this. If you're curious. 160 hours, 2.4 thousand views. This is pretty bad. I think, and I think the main reason why it, it has such bad um after the first 30 seconds was the hook. I'll play the hook. From being called the unoriginal and plagiarizing game labeled as Pokemon with guns, to breaking records and becoming one of the most successful. I'll play here. I'll play here. From being called the unoriginal and plagiarizing game labeled as Pokemon with guns, 
the breaking records and becoming one of the most successful games in 2024. Our world has Our world been through has a variety of controversies. How did they get here? And today, we're delving into the story of Power World. But before we get into this video, I have noticed that 99% of my- This is why I think it kind of dropped. And I think it, it's 100% uh, my fault. I shouldn't have added this here. I think it should be added towards the end. If it pushes it towards the end, I think this video would have done much better. So if you're a YouTuber out there, here's a lesson. Move this, the, the, the call to action, towards the uh, after the second half. So your retention will continue. This is my opinion. My viewers are subscribed. If you really are enjoying So I think this is I think this is why this video did they didn't do bad, but I think it should have done more. And then the neon, I capitalized on the neon hate, and then Nadia. This is where I started kind of doing ideating. I started doing more research. I looked at Sunny V2, Internet Anarchists, uh, people like that. And I just did an update video on Nadia. And it got 3.3k. 3 and it's still going up now, I think. Because I think a few days ago, I checked it was like 2.5k. Uh, yeah, it started going steadily up again. Maybe it's just, just Nadia. If you do a video on Nadia, it just go up. And the retention was crazy. This is like same level as like Bruce dropping them off like 30% at 70% uh, at 30 seconds and it never dipped below 50 until the end so 177 hours 8% which is pretty good and it's going up so and average is 3 minutes so I think if you're doing a short video like under 10 minutes you want the uh, average view to be higher and then this is where I'm right now a month ago, I did Matt, you know, Matt Pat announced his um, retirement. So I think I capitalized on it. It did, it did not perform well. Maybe I think it was, I think it was because of my thumbnail. Yeah, 2%, 2.2%. I think the thumbnail was too clustered. But at first I thought it was amazing. Cause you know, look at, look at, look at this. I thought it was a good thumbnail, but apparently it wasn't. Um, a lot of it's a browse feature, which is Cool, pretty cool what the hell why is it ligma ligma balls so seven hour watch time which is pretty bad average retention two minutes out of a seven minute video and look at this it's like jumping off a freaking cliff Thir at 30 seconds 43 percent it's pretty bad um yeah Taylor Swift uh, I think it was also the thumbnail oh actually I think these three videos did bad because I did the same problem with uh, Power World. I did a call to action, like asking people to subscribe in the first 30 seconds or first minute. And that's why I started doing bad. So I learned my lesson here. I didn't do it for this and this video. So, and this Mr. Beast one just got uploaded. So hopefully it'll do well. Um, yeah, I think Taylor Swift, uh, the Taylor Swift uh, click through rate was 3.4%. It was pretty bad. And I think this is also like jumping off a cliff. Yep. Damn. And this David Dobrik one is picking up, but I don't think it's gonna go to a thousand views. And then this Logan Paul one is where I think it's I started looking at YouTube differently. I started like looking at outliers. I look started looking at um what other people are doing well, and then I start copying. This video I got inspiration from JHXC64, where he did like a Linus Tech Tip one. Uh, I'll see if I can show you this one. Uh, he did a video on Linus. Yeah, this was an outlier. Like it got 275k views, and he was only at 50,000 subscribers. So, uh, I, so this is what I got inspiration from. But I think it did, so. But obviously, it's only at 2k views right now. So, and then this is my latest video. What happened to Mr. Beast? This is also an outlier. I got it from my friend. Watch, yeah, Watch Rock. He only, he made a Mr. What happened to Mr. B's gaming video? And it, it popped off. See, he has only 10,000 subscribers and he in this video got 675,000 views. So then I did a different variation. I did like a Yoinkin twist, like a love with Yoinkin twist. And to what happened to Mr. B's reacts. And so far, I'm not gonna lie, it might be tanking. It has 1.2% click through rate, 2.5 thousand impressions. And only 50 views so far, but it's only been like three hours. 
so who knows there's no because not long enough for the stat so so this is what happened this is a realistic um sequence all right this is a uh, realistic sequence of what i did for the past six months so if you guys have any questions about what i did um comment them below i just thought doing this video will help people and you know help people future maybe if you want to go documentary niche maybe you want to go to different niche you know i can help you out by doing this video and if this is still not monetized by the way because i think to get monetized i need yeah uh i need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours i'm pretty close so hopefully it does well and hopefully it gets monetized but even this main channel i'm talking the one you're watching the channel you're watching right now is still also not monetized so if you enjoy these type of breakdowns please please subscribe it really does help me it helps my uh getting monetized my video duration so if you like this content please like and subscribe if you have any questions comment down below i'd be happy to help so and i don't know if i should continue doing these uh documentary on this channel because uh, i i don't know because i feel like a lot of demo demotivated um i feel like i uh did a lot of ideating and and i put a lot of effort mm, so i don't know so should i continue uploading on this let me know